Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with DR Holistic Killer, a.k.a. Sonya B. So I'm back with this quick intuitive message. So uh, as I was cleaning today, God's soul spirit was just giving me the information of just look back over your life, right? Look back over your life for at least how far back that you want to go or even how far, whether it be, I'm, I'm here also try to go back to even like your childhood and try to even remember that experience in a sense. But what you're doing is you're bringing all of that energy to this current position, everything that you can remember that you experienced, you know, whether it was um, a situation of dealing with certain people in situations that you didn't like, you didn't care for, how people treated you, even if it was growing up, let's just say, um, I'm hearing, uh, if, even if it's pertaining to relatives, how they treated you, look at all aspects of that, you know, when you just, I'm also hearing too, if you were a child who sat back and observed things, you know, just look at all of that in a sense, you know, whether you was observing your family dynamic, whether it was you observing other people and how they act and so on and so on. So, but nevertheless, God wants you to bring all that energy current. Okay. So as you bring all of that energy current, as you can sit there and think about it, but the key is to not get stuck there. So as you go through each phase and stage or whatever traumatic experience that you had experienced, what you're doing is you're saying back to that, and I'm hearing Holy Spirit say like, even if you go back to the childhood part, things that you can remember about your childhood, you know, you tell yourself that you're letting that, you're letting that, um, how can I say it? You're letting that trauma go, okay? So as you let that trauma go, I'm hearing the Holy Spirit say you are retrieving, you know, lost pieces of your soul by doing that. So as you let that trauma go and say, you know what, this no longer controls me, you know, you state that to yourself. And even if you have to write it down, as I told you guys before, that God was saying using that three, six, nine method in a sense of writing things down three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon and nine times before you go to bed. You know, if you want to state after you go through each and every one of those experience, you know, that none of that energy is no longer holding me back. It's no longer holding me down. It's no longer, I'm not going to allow it any longer to control my life in a sense okay so once you start to do that um you're releasing that energy as you're doing that because all i'm seeing is like energy just being released in the process of doing that so basically what you're doing is once you bring it current and once you done once you are done with bringing that energy current it's almost like you imagine yourself closing the doors on it you never forget the experience because the experience always reminds you of even situations let's just say if you have to deal with other people out here but what your base i mean that's i'm even hearing the holy spirit say like even if like pertaining to slavery you never forget that because without your past you have no future you know what i mean but not only that but you don't want to forget that so that you don't ever repeat it again as well too so basically you're basically putting it in your i'm hearing the holy spirit say again like putting it in your your chest drawer you know how people used to have the old chest drawers down at the foot of their bed and uh, they put all their items in there so what you're doing is basically you put in that stuff kind of like under lock and key is what i just heard in a sense so you're not forgetting the experience because it, again the experience has taught you the lessons that you are learning now but basically what you're doing is you're letting that energy go in a sense so that, you know, you don't keep repeating the same cycles over and over and over again. For those of you who are ready and willing to jump off of that hamster wheel, especially if you feel like you've been repeating the same old cycles, okay? And even if you've been feeling like you've been sitting still and things have been stagnant, in a sense, um, here's your opportunity or chance to, to start letting that go in each and every day because... You know, in your subconscious mind, sometimes those thoughts are going to rise to the surface and you just remind yourself, no, I release that and I let it go. I am no longer allowing it to hurt me, traumatize me or uh, uh, be a dramatic part in my life. OK, so and then as that starts to happen, the more you put that energy, effort and time into doing that, what's going to happen is you're making space for new energy to come in. And, and I say all that to say that um, as I was sitting here cleaning, God had just gave me that message and just told me to deliver it to you guys. So anyway, so this is where we're starting to release our traumatic experiences that we have been having, okay? So I know that was an earful. And the funny thing about this is, and I almost forgot too, because Holy Spirit was just reminding me. And I find it funny that we're doing it on this seventh day because today is July 7th and it is the seventh month so that is seven seven and to me that's almost like a portal in a sense of you know healing because seven is a spiritual number okay so if you make it a point to do that consciously on this day 
you will, I guarantee you will start to see results start to happen for you. So anyway, I hope that information was helpful and um, I'm just being divinely guided to do what it is that I was being told to do. <laughs> so um, I hope you all have a beautiful day and remember it's time to start releasing and start letting go. And that doesn't just include you guys, that includes myself as well too because you guys know that I've been going through some stuff too, okay? So with all that being said, I wish you all much love, much light and I say peace and blessings until the next message. Bye.